good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are so today we will talk about op amps and we will derive the relationship between the output voltage and the input voltage of an inverting configuration so every op amp will have an output now this in an inverting configuration the differential inputs which is denoted by plus and a minus sign in an inverting configuration the plus is grounded the feedback resistor which is connected from output to input is connected to the negative input and the input is fed to the inverting input so v in is the input voltage connected to inverting input which is minus this one and there is a resistance r here from the output the feedback which is going back to the input has a feedback resistor called rf the output voltage is denoted by vo now in an inverting configuration if the input signal is like this then the output signal would be inverted which is negative therefore if it was positive here it will be negative if it was negative it will be positive that is what an inverting op amp does now before we proceed uh, we need to take care of or rather understand two fundamental concepts which we will use to compute the relationship between output and input first this being a differential amplifier the voltage fed at the input the difference which could be denoted as vd which is nothing but the voltage at the negative minus voltage at the positive is close to zero the reason it is close to zero is in an ideal op amp the gain is almost infinite therefore this difference is extremely small it is so small that for all practical purposes we can consider this v negative and v positive to be nearly equal which means the voltage here is practically the same as the voltage here that's the first concept the second concept that we will use is when something is being fed the rather let me correct myself the second concept that we will use is a differential amplifier has an infinite input impedance meaning the current that flows from here or to here is zero the impedance is infinite or open circuit that's those are the two basic concepts that we will use i will repeat number 1 the voltages fed either at inverting or at non inverting input can be considered to be practically same because of infinite gain and difference being close to zero number 2 the input impedance is infinite therefore the current flowing in or out of these two points is practically zero now with those two concepts let's try and compute the input and output relationship for that we will first compute the current flowing through the feedback resistor let's assume that the current flowing in this direction is positive therefore the current flowing in the 
feedback resistor is in opposite direction thus negative so we can write v output is equal to now here carefully we have used the we, the first concept was that the voltage at this end is practically the same at this end given that this end is grounded it is at 0 volts therefore voltage at this end can be considered 0 thus v output is equal to the current that is going into the feedback resistor which is IF multiplied by RF now the direction of this current is negative so this is minus or IF is equal to V output by RF feedback current is nothing but V output divided by RF so that is the feedback current now having computed the feedback current let's try and compute the current through this one now again we will use the first concept which is voltage at here is close to voltage at here given this is grounded this point is at 0 volts therefore the current I input is equal to V in by R now I input we had earlier said current in this direction is positive and current is flowing in this direction therefore this is positive I input is equal to V in by R earlier we had computed the I feedback which is negative is equal to V output by R F these are the two equations we have come up with now having come with, with those two equations we need or rather let's look at the second concept which is we said the current flowing through this or flowing out of this is practically zero because the input impedance is infinite therefore it is safe to assume that the current that flows from this one which was I feedback is equal to the current which flows from this one which was I input having computed these two we can say since or rather we are saying I input is equal to I feedback we can write V in by R which is the I input is equal to minus of V output by RF the reason we have put this minus is this input current is in this direction whereas the feedback current is in this direction so V in by R is equal to minus of V output by R if we rearrange this equation we get V output by V input is equal to minus of RF by R this is the equation that governs the output and input relationship of an op amp in inverting configuration this negative sign indicates that if input was like this the output would be inverted and if RF by R is greater than 1 the output would also be amplified if that is equal to 1 the output will remain same only change the polarity that's pretty much what we have to do in order to define the relationship between an output and an input for an inverting op amplifier if you like it please like subscribe and if you have any questions please write your comments down below thank you